Man, I'm glad they made this flavor. Yo guys, it's Book of Ball here, and what if I told you that I actually did get in trouble just because I bought G Fuel? Now at this point in time, I don't think my dad would get mad at me anymore because, well, I'm 18 now, and I can basically do whatever I want. But the only thing I can't do is basically have my setup upstairs because he wants to... Well, I don't think he monitors me. He just, like, wants to see his child here every single day. He doesn't want people to be cooped up in, well my our rooms that's the only thing he will not let me do but yes g fuel actually did get me in trouble and actually to the point where my dad actually believed that i did drugs so let's start off with the video so so this was like back in like freshman year where i actually got into like a gaming even more i started to get into call of duty really more and i started to like have a group of friends to hang out with every time on Xbox and also as well as like in real life. This was one when I was growing the relationship of Jacob and Austin. And I started watching, well, the face people and they had a sponsor called G Fuel. G Fuel at the time and still at this time, one of the biggest drinks for gamers. It's supposed to be a healthy alternative to just, well, Monster and Red Bull and Rockstar, any type of energy drink that Tastes terrible, but like it's also very unhealthy for you. This, however, has like well berry flavors, any type of like fruit that you can think of. Sugar free, no artificial uh, coloring, as well as well, it's also a supplement. And keep the word supplement in your mind. So I decided I had a little bit of cash because I was a kid. I didn't really make that much money, but I did have a couple of enough cash to, well, try out G Fuel. And I bought like a five pack. And at the time, they only had like well fruit punch blue ice, lemon lime, pink lemonade, and watermelon. And out of all those flavors, I only tried two of them, which is the blue ice and the watermelon. Now, when I tried these flavors was after that I got in trouble. So my dad noticed that I actually bought something through the mail and I decided to bring it to my desk. He just gave it to me and he didn't know what they were. He didn't literally like go to my desk. I kind of accidentally put myself in trouble. I think we were talking about uh, something about supplements and then I told him how the stuff that I bought G Fuel was actually a supplement and he literally just outraged and just yelled at like Josh did you buy drugs from the freaking internet? And I'm just like no I bought myself an energy drink that is in a powdered form it's kind of like Kool-Aid. I was like Josh are you kidding me? Like well I didn't use your card like why are you freaking out? It's like Josh you're doing drugs! And it's like what are you talking about? It's like it's uh, let me show you this card. I legit showed him the pamphlet and literally he was threatening me to take away my Xbox, like taking a lot of my stuff, like my laptop, and he was really angry at me. It was almost overreacting because, well, he didn't really see it as like, well, energy drinks. He saw it as like, well, a type of drug because I used the word supplement. And my dad used to work for a mental hospital. He used to be like an assistant just to, to get patients like, I don't know, like maybe ready or if they can't do something they would do it for them i mean my dad's not a doctor he just like worked as like an assistant i mean if he was a doctor i would have my own car already so he's a photographer now uh, so, uh but later on we search it we researched the website and he compared all the energy drinks to the g fuel and he kept looking at this one ingredient which was taurine i didn't really know what taurine meant but it's some type of ingredient that is inside energy drinks like i said this is comparable to an energy drink and it's six in the afternoon i don't even know why i'm drinking this but after the arguing was over and then me crying he literally just told me it's like josh i need you to tell me something you just admitted that you're gonna do drugs and i was just sitting here just like you, you have got to be kidding me, Dad. It's like, well, just say it! Like, he was honestly furious about what I just did. So I literally have to say it. What I just did here is I am going to do drugs. So that's what I said. He grabbed them away from me, and I was just sad. I didn't lose anything. I still kept my Xbox 360. I still kept my laptop. But what he did is he just grabbed the supplements from my hand. And at that point in time, I didn't even know what he did with them. The next day, I was trying to figure out where he actually put the G Fool itself. And this was like in the morning. My dad was still asleep. He wasn't on his computer or anything. I was getting ready to go to school. And I looked around his desk. So I went to my dad's desk area and I found that the G Fuel was in his trash can. It was not in the main trash can. He just put it in his trash can. So of course, with my smart devious self, they looked brand new and packaged. They didn't look crumbled up. They didn't look dirty. They didn't look worse or anything. They looked perfectly mint condition. So I just grabbed them and I took them to school with me. I grabbed one of these water bottles, put a little bit of ice in them because I heard if you put ice and water together, Together and put G Fuel in it, it's supposed to taste much more better. And I thought I was a pretty cool person because, well, I brought 
this thing, because, well, the thing that I got in trouble for, I still brought it to school. I let some of my friends try it. I think that one of them, like, tried out the fruit punch. My other friend, I was in, like, my advisory, tried out the pink lemonade. I know I tried out the blue ice and the watermelon. So the lemon line, I think I let one of my friend John's try it. And to their mind, when they drank it, they just felt very energized, very amazing. That's probably why I have a lot of energy now to make a couple of videos. I remember one time, like, uh, I think I drank it in, um... I drank the blue ice in Spanish class and I think we were viewing for like a test or something. So I literally drank this and I knew almost everything. I actually felt like a fast Mexican. I knew all the words and like writing it all down. Everyone was wondering how was you, how are you so hyper? Like what is, what is gonna make you write so fast? And they didn't even know because I had this. And then my dad never caught me of finding the G Fuel. He just thought uh, someone took out the trash, probably my grandmother and then that was the end of it. Later on my senior year, I decided to buy Phase Berry and Mystery Flavor because I wanted to try out those flavors. I let some of my friends try that. Mystery Flavor just tasted very bizarre, very weird. That's why it's called Mystery Flavor. Then I tried out Phase Berry, which was much more better than the Mystery Flavor. I mean, I could tolerate the Mystery Flavor, but it was just so bizarre to me. And then I went to Pack South, and they were giving out free samples. So of course, I tried out a couple flavors. I tried out the orange, tastes like orange. Tried out lemonade, tastes exactly like lemonade. I finally got to try out the flavor that I've been asking them to do, which is pineapple, and it is honestly a banger. It's delicious. I even tried out the peach mango, which that was also delicious. I also wanted to try that as well. So yeah, that's my history with G Fuel. But I don't know, what do you guys think about that situation? Legit, that's why I'm kind of fearful because whatever I do, I'm going to get in trouble for. Like later on during that argument, he says like, well, this is actually meant for 18 year olds. I'm 18 now. I'm drinking it right now. I got the loop all done. But that was just a crazy event. I just wanted to try something. It's not like, it's not literally I'm going to snort the gamma and then I'm probably going to be energized. I mean, that's not me. I don't do drugs. I would feel terrible if I was actually doing them. So me actually buying the energy formula known as G Fuel, I didn't really hold back because I saw this as a drink. I saw it like Kool-Aid, but for energy drinks. But think about it if I got big in the community and G Fuel wanted to sponsor me. If I couldn't do that, then the other alternative would be Coke Esports. I mean, I love Cokes and they have a sponsorship for gamers, so might as well take that in. But if I join a team and then they offer G Fuel, I wouldn't hesitate to drink it because some of the flavors that are actually in G Fuel are actually really delicious. But I don't know what flavor would I even have? What if like I got big in the community and made myself a flavor. I mean, the only one I can think of is, well, here's Cabal. I can only think of Cabanana. I mean, they have never made a banana flavored, but I don't know if banana would taste good. I wouldn't even know at that point. Cut strawberry, I, 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 I don't know. But that's it for you guys, hope you guys enjoy. I think you're probably surprised why this video actually got uploaded today. I'm actually gonna try to upload daily as of now on because I think I thought of a system to actually upload daily. So I record a couple of game videos and then I record a couple of commentaries. What I used to do back then, I record strictly on commentaries, but then I got to the point where well, I don't know what to talk about anymore. But I also love playing games and you guys love my gaming content. So why not do both? Just do some games, do some commentaries, and keep stacking them up also with daily streaming. So I hope you guys enjoy. That's much it. Until then, ball out.